Sounds like your bike. Yeah. Is there anything more tedious than pulling nails from an oak ceiling, Simon? I don't think so. It is quite tedious work, but it's got to be done, hasn't it? So we've got to get it prepared. Yeah, um, I was I was feeling a little bit anxious last night, thinking, well, if we do stud work for another day, and then Wednesday we'll spend the entire day pulling nails from the ceiling, and then Thursday we need to remove all the rocks and infill above the main beams, yeah. which will be Thursday, He's arriving on Friday. Friday. Yeah, and so, we've still got to put that door in there. Yeah, we've we still got lots of things to do. So I think it was yeah. the right. It was your decision this morning to start yeah. this rather than doing more stud work. So I think yeah. you've made the right call. I was thinking it. Yeah. But I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, I'll let no, you. I'll let you be in charge, mate. Okay, no, no, mate. <laughs> well, my, as I looked at it, I was, if we do all the bits we need to do, ready for him, then if there's time left over, then we can carry on with stud work, yeah. can't we? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And, uh, you know, at least we've got all the prep done for him. Yeah when he gets there um it's absolutely baking today isn't it's it it's warm today it's probably the so, warmest yeah. day so far this year yeah and um it's quite cool in the convent yeah. but um, we have opened the windows just to let a bit of breeze in because it was warming up in here yeah let the air flow through yeah there's a slight bit of breeze isn't there which there is, is blowing it it's through, quite which nice is lovely. um so yeah we just got to continue cracking on mate yeah I mean, also, we've got to set all the scaffold up as well. Get all that library all out as well, haven't You're we? going to make me stress, Simon. <laughs> <laughs> but if we do all that first, if there's any time left, we can just carry on with stub work, yeah. aren't we? Yeah. So. Okay. All right, then. Let's crack on some more, then. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Go on. I'm up here on the scaffolding on one of these big beams. Um, what I'm doing is just removing these laths, taking that section off there, just so that we can expose the beam and see to make sure there's no major splits. Um, so far, so good. I mean, and these are not actually doing anything. Although they're strapped around, I think that one's moving as well. Now they put these plates on there. I mean, I can see the reason why they put them on there, but they're not actually supporting the beam. So let's take some more of this off and see if we can see, you know, some major cr cracks that way more than anything. I'm having a bit of de this. deja vu here, Simon. Yeah, I'll bet. Because we did this in the kitchen. Right, okay. And we were like, oh no, the beams are going to have a big split in them. Yeah. We'll have to change them. Well, so far, I mean, that's perfect through there. The thing is, Paddy, the carpenter, said these beams were put in green and he said yeah. this is what happens to green oak yeah when it dries it's not because yeah. they've added all that weight upstairs the weight upstairs was added when they added the steel braces mm -hmm. either side that's what we've removed to build the gallery for the library yeah that was only to support them with all of the extra weight 
Yeah. And these were these were designed to carry what's currently there, which we're going to remove anyway. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I mean, it's character, trying to preserve the character of the building yeah. by leaving as much as possible. Yeah. So if we can keep these beams, it'd be absolutely amazing. Yeah, also, we've got to, we've got to check to make sure they're safe as well, haven't yeah. we? So the only yeah. way to do that is to remove these. All right then, mate. Um, pull, off, pull off them laughs and we'll see what's below. A little bit off. Hopefully no surprises. Is it completely loose? Yeah. It's doing nothing. So I see. So that plate. I'm going to do this on the book and once I've got home. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mercy, uh, Sean. Yes. Yeah. You've done well today. Yeah, it's tough on your hands with them pincers all day. My hands are yeah. going back tomorrow. We should talk about the tools we've been using and why we've been using these tools. Yeah. Because um, people are saying, why aren't you using a claw hammer, things like that. All right, okay. So let me get a claw hammer and the, and the pincers we've been using. The tools we've been using, some people have been saying, like you say, about you know us not using a claw hammer. Because these nails are quite old and they're quite rusty, um, where they're so rusty and they're driven into oak beams, they're really in there. And all you'd end up doing is just ripping the head straight off yep. so it won't pull them out. Mm -hmm. So with these, these, what they're called pincers, mm -hmm. what they'll do is they're able to grip the shaft and then this bit will roll around on the beam and pull it out like that yep. rather than just pull the head straight off. Yeah. I mean, it'd be nice if we could just go along with the hammer and pull them out, but, you know, we can't. They're in there so well. It is a solid bit of oak, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard. So that's what we've upgraded to these now, which are really making the job So I've been down Brico twice today. Yeah. Um, second time for three sets of these. You've added um, soft handles to them, haven't you? Yeah, they're a bit tough on there. There's no there's no protection underneath, and the edges are quite quite sharp, and you yeah. can give them quite a good grip, you know, to, mm -hmm. to pull them out. I mean, mines are. You're good at. They know they've done the work. You're today. good at a tight grip, aren't you, Simon? Oh well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just between me and you. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we've been using. That's why we've not been using a hammer. Yeah. Um, and we've been using these. Yeah. Well, it's nice for you to explain because a yeah. lot of people have been asking. Yeah. Sure. It's just the rusty old nails are too tight in the oak. And the heads will exactly. just pull off. Yeah, yeah simple exactly. as that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's tough getting them out with them sometimes. They just want to snap. You know, yeah. you really got to give it mm -hmm. something to get them out. But it's coming on. It's yeah. like it's like almost. Getting them out. I'd say about 90 percent done. Just the last corner over there, and then um, a little bit above our heads. Yeah, and while I was up there, 
Um, I did look at that crack as well. I know that looks bad from down there, but when you're up there, it's only, you know, that much that it's cracked into it. So you've still got, you know... It could be much. the worst crack in the entire world, but we'll convince yeah. ourselves it's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. There is, there, we are absolutely mental. Yeah. No, it's fine. We'll just take, we'll take the weight off upstairs. Yeah. And, and, I, and when we took, I remember when we took this partition wall out, yeah. uh, the top plate that went across all the uprights, there mm -hmm. was a gap underneath it. It yeah. wasn't even supporting that no. beam. That beam wasn't Nothing was supporting there. it, no. So, yeah, I mean, if it was going to go anywhere, it would have gone anywhere, you know, and fell onto that original wall, but it hadn't. So no. it's not going to go anywhere now. And especially now we're taking weight off all this yep. upstairs. Just easing. Well, we, have, we have to preserve it, unfortunately. Yeah. Brilliant. Yes, we yeah. have. There's up there, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but where they put the new floor in, above these beams yeah they put some floor joists they put floor joists along them beams so we're going to have to you know trim about that much of the floor joists off down yeah so we can expose these beams yeah otherwise we won't be able to put some plasterboard between yeah them. which would be a challenge in itself i'm hoping we'll be able to get a small skill saw up there mm -hmm. you know and just trim it back so yeah. we've got a nice amount of it's beam possible. showing um, and then you know we'll be able to get our battens up yeah the plasterboard mm -hmm. like we've done in the hallway in the kitchen yeah Brilliant. It should be okay. All right then, let's get back to work. Okay. Let's do it, mate. Let's do a bit more, shall we?